Hello, my name is Sandy Kelly and I'm the Associate Director in the Office of Admission. And I'm so happy you decided to learn more information about Ithaca College. We're a proud partner with the Next Genius Pro Program. So I'm going to be telling you a little bit about Ithaca College in this video. So first of all, a little bit of background about Ithaca College. We were founded in 1892 as the Ithaca Conservatory of Music. We changed a lot in the uh, 130 years since our founding, and we are now a comprehensive residential college. And so these statistics on this slide give you a little bit of information about our college and our campus. First of all, I wanna point out where we're located. So we are in New York State in what's called the Finger Lakes area. It's a beautiful area, world renowned um, for the natural beauty in a, a city called Ithaca. It's a small city by most standards. Um, and it's very much a college town. So Cornell University is located in Ithaca. And so we have a lot of opportunities here. We're about four hours from New York City. So even though we're in New York State, we are a bit uh, away from New York City. It's possible to go there on weekends and there's good connections to New York City, but it isn't commutable. Um, we do have a regional airport, so it's uh, easy enough to make a connection through one of the major hubs in the United States to reach Ithaca. We have about 5,000 undergraduate students, so we're a medium-sized campus. We say not too big, not too small. Um, and we have uh, low student to faculty ratios of nine students for every faculty and an average class size of 17. I wanna provide a little bit of information about our international students. We have students from literally around the world. Um, we have students from across the US in 47 different states in three territories. And then about 40 different countries. And so this map gives you an idea of where our international students nation of citizenship is. So one of the nice things is there's students from all regions and of course, well represented by India. One of the first things you probably think about in terms of uh, college is whether you we offer the program that you're interested in studying. So one of the good things about Ithaca, and I think one of the things that make us special is the wide range of programs that we have. We have more than 90 different academic programs and they're organized into the School of Business, the School of Communications, School of Health Science and Human Performance, School of Humanities and Sciences and School of Music. So a wide range of programs that is gonna make it possible for students to find something they want to study. And it just makes for an interesting campus when you have students in such a wide variety of academic interests coming together as a community. And one of the most important aspects of the experience at Ithaca College is student life. We are what's known as a residential college. So that means that students, uh, most of our students are living on our campus and that creates a sense of community and home. You're gonna hear me say community a lot in this presentation because that's really a hallmark of the Ithaca experience. So students are living here, they're going to school, but they're also getting experiences and relaxing and creating those college memories by uh, doing things outside the classroom. So there's a wide range of opportunities for students to get involved with. We have more than 200 student organizations and clubs, and they can be things like leadership and honors organizations, recreational kinds of things, fun and react, relaxing kinds of things. And then the community of Ithaca, as I mentioned, is a college town with two campuses, Ithaca College and Cornell University. So in the community, there's a lot to do. Great restaurant selection, live music is very important here. And of course, the natural beauty provides a lot of opportunities for hiking. We're situated on the foot of a lake. So there's just a lot to get involved with in, in Ithaca. 
the city as well as the campus. And then like any community, we also provide support for our students um, that you might expect in a community. So this can be things like academic support. So we make sure we provide the services that are needed for students to succeed, like advising and tutoring. But we also provide health and wellness support. So we have a uh, health clinic on campus. We provide counseling services and we have fitness centers and, as well. And students can get jobs on campus as an international student. If you're on an F1 student visa, you can work uh, approximately 10 hours a week on campus in a campus job. And then we also have student life for uh, students who want to connect with other students around an issue, whether that be religious and spiritual life or um, inclusion, diversity, and equity. So there's a wide range of those kinds of services also. And then we provide specific services to our international students that include international student advisor. We work with you on the visa support and we have international peer advisors to assist students with making the transition and succeeding when they come to Ithaca College. I wanted to highlight a couple of student experiences. And I do this in particular with the Next Genius uh, students because I think one of the best matches between Next Genius and Ithaca College is that uh, the Next Genius students are uh, motivated, they look for opportunity, they take advantage of opportunity, and Ithaca College offers a lot of opportunity for all of our students. So Sarum um, was not a ne next genius student because he came to Ithaca College before we uh, were part of the program, but he graduated in May of 20, which you might remember was uh, in the middle of the pandemic. And um, he, when he was a sophomore, he began an internship at a local company here in Ithaca called the Indian Milk and Honey. And he, they produced Lhasa for local distribution. And um, after graduation, for students who are on a student visa can stay a year in what's called OPT experience. He worked full-time marketing the Lhasa and Ghee to local re realtors and, it, and also through Amazon. So this was an incredible experience. It had its challenges because we, they had to shift their marketing plan for um, the, because of the pandemic. And so it gave him a, an amazing experience to work in a professional setting and have a real impact. Another example is Himadri who is, the, is a Next Genius Scholar. She will graduate in 2023. And this is an example of opportunities beyond Next Genius once you come to Ithaca College. So she was, this, this summer, she received um, funding and recognition for what's called the Project for Peace. And so three students were selected, she was one of them, to do a project in Delhi, which is where she's from, um, during the summer. And so another great experience for her and a way that the Next Genius Scholars uh, get a lot from the Ithaca College campus, but also give back a lot to the campus and the community. So I'm going to talk a little bit about our application process. Don't stress too much about memorizing this. We'll guide you through it. But we are a common application only school. So if you apply to the college, you would submit the common application. We are also test standardized test optional. So and we have been since 2012. So you don't need to submit SAT or ACT scores as part of your um, application process. It's optional. If you choose to, you can, but we're fine without it. You'll also notice that I don't have TOEFL or e, um, uh, scores or any English proficiency requirement on here. If you've attended a English language high school, we do not require separate English proficiency uh, test results. 
we ask for one letter of recommendation. And there is an additional requirement for students applying to the music and theater programs. So for those programs, music and theater, you do need to do either an interview or an audition, um, depending on which program that you're applying to. And then we ask that you submit a financial aid application. We are reviewing right now whether we're going to continue to require the CSS profile. But if not, we will have a different option. So stay tuned and watch our website for information about what's required. And keep in mind that we're suggesting the December 1st deadline for the next Genius application. Um, and it's very important that you meet that deadline. And particularly for music and theater students, that's a final deadline. So if you do decide to apply to Ithaca College, please make sure that you let me know if you have questions. There's a many, many, many more resources on our website to connect with us. We will have virtual um, admission programs. So we have student to student panels. We have video and virtual campus tours. You can connect with me directly and my email is there. This has just been a brief introduction and we hope that you will take the time to learn more about Ithaca College. And I wanna thank you once again for uh, connecting with me and I hope to hear from you soon.